Hey everybody, Dan the Wolfman here, and I'm going to watch some crazy King of the, oh my god, I'm getting attacked, King of the Streets, Viciousness, and uh, let's check it out right now. So this is King of the Streets, every vicious soccer kick, stop, and headbutt in King of the Streets. I do not condone anything like this that is ever done on concrete, guys. I uh, don't condone it on concrete, because you get someone gets knocked out. Look at that, vicious headbutt, tie plum clinch here. Oh, counter right hand and a soccer kick to the head. Now I started no holds barred days. I started with kicks and knees to the ground. In fact, three of my fights, either kicks and or knees to the head uh, on the ground were allowed. So I started in the days where like, I was okay with this, but I'm not okay with this on concrete. Cause once you get knocked out, it's too easy for the head to hit the concrete. And that's when bad things like deaths can happen. So if this were on the grass and everyone was a mouth guard, you know, uh, I'm kind of okay with people deciding to do it. I'm not okay with it on concrete, and I wish they didn't do it on concrete. If it was just on, a, you know, some lawn somewhere, uh, caged off, I'd be okay with that. Look at the front kick there. Oh, and a jumping in headbutt. Muy Boran style, a little bit of knock more, a little bit of uh, left way there. More like left way, old school. Leaping in, boom, straight up the middle with that headbutt. As you see, I got a vicious, vicious attack dog here that they're trying to get me to allow in the dog fighting circles, but it's not going to happen. I'm not down with that. And I'm not down with this on concrete, but it is important to look at. He's going for an armbar here. Getting some hammer fists, though. Some good ground and pound on top. Could go for an ankle lock, but no, he's going to try to kick the head from there. Sakuraba style, remember Pride, when kicks and flying stomps to the head. Shogun Hua style were allowed. He's holding on to the cage there, ground and pound. Apparently, that's allowed. Tank Abbott style, one of my uh, former sparring partners, or more like I was his sparring partner. Guy in bottom's going for a leg lock, though. Oh, but a good stomp on the throat choke seems to be working well out of this. And oh my god, a backward spitting stomp knockout to the head from the uh, foot on throat while holding the cage technique. Again, I think this is important as a, a martial artist to look at, to look at real attacks, to look at some real violent type stuff. Uh, but I just wish it wasn't on concrete. Someone maybe has been hurt, I don't know, could really get hurt. Some uh, Jeremy Horn style elbows to the back of the neck there. Uh, that's really questionable. As long as there's no biting, no eye gouging, you know, uh, no weapons, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. I just wish it was on, on, on a lawn, you know, or, or something uh, not concrete. Headbutt finish there. Nice ground and pound. Going for the high kick there. Big old slap comes into the clinch. See a lot of clinch attacks. Headbutts from the mount, framing the, the neck. Right hand headbutt. Right hand headbutt. Right hand headbutt. I like this guy's style. Mark Coleman would approve. Getting busy there with the ground and pound. And uh, we see how viable headbutts were. And all these, uh, you know, BJJ black belt, but modern, you know, I, when I started back in the day, we worried about headbutts and knees to the head soccer kicks. And now it's all, you know, barren bolos and butt flopping. And, well, if you just bring back a headbutt, boy, shit gets real, real fast. Side mount, in the mount here. Now, guys, you got to do the crazy wolf man to break that or go to the mono plot amount, both of which I teach in my combatants and street jujitsu instruction on BJJ Fanatics, four and a half hours, highly rated. I deal with about soccer kicks and flying stomps to the face. I show you at the end of the instructional, again, four and a half hours, how to deal with stuff like this. Oh, hit, headbutt, hit, headbutt, hit, headbutt. Now getting busy with the hands and the referee finally stops it. Um, so I don't know. I kind of like this because this takes me back to like well, watching early UFC and World Combat League and all that kind of stuff back in the NHB days, what it was like. Uh, but boy, I'm worried on concrete. Let me know what you guys think. Was that pretty wild? Uh, and what do you think of King of the Streets? Thumbs up, share, subscribe. Take care.